if you're in the market for a 25 foot or less travel trailer bunkhouse i found the perfect one this is the grand design imagine xls 21 bhe i'm going to show you guys around it and give you my impressions let's get into it now something that grand design has been doing for a while is they've been providing a electric tongue jack standard and this one does have a light below too and it has the coiled breakaway switch which is very convenient and then all the hardware is pretty easy to use they do give you two propane tanks 20 pounds per and you do have an area back here for dual battery setup too now as far as the front cap goes they do provide a rock guard for the bottom of the rv which does help with the appearance but you do have a gel coated finish on this one and i do like the design of the grand design imagines front caps and the sides too and this door is actually a little bit taller than the one I did on the 22 RV. However, you do have a little bit more uh, structure coming into this area. So it's not as deep as the other one was because this wasn't here in that 22 RVE that I did a review on. So just keep that in mind. But it's still a lot of space. Uh, you could definitely put some trays in here. You do have some lights for both sides. There is no power plug, however. I'm actually surprised that they didn't put one on the side. But nevertheless, let's keep moving on. You do have a window here for your bedroom, or really not even a bedroom. This is, you'll see when we get inside, I'll show it to you. But check out your steps. You have aluminum steps. And decent size entry door too. Uh, I'm six foot one, and I didn't have to duck down or anything to get inside. You do have a 15 foot awning with the LED strip down below. You have two speakers for your outside entertainment. And one thing that I like about the Grand Design brand is that they started putting Goodyear tires standard from the factory. These are going to be a ST20575-14 and here's the capacity for the tire. Hopefully you can read it upside down but if you can't, 2,040 pounds, 65 PSI is cold and yeah I, I definitely like this because if you did want these tires at some point they were on back order for like three to six months. And maybe it's because Grand Design was taking them from you. Now, something I would like to see from Grand Design is an upgraded suspension option, like the Crew 3000, the Road Armor. There's a few other ones out there that are pretty good. And that just helps with on the road management when you're towing the trailer. Now, on the side, you do have a cable hookup if you want an outside television. And they do provide some power outlets too. So let's get serious about outside entertainment. If I could go back, this is something I would have definitely looked for on my RV. Because we full-time, this is something that's very important. But if you don't full-time, this is still kind of important. They actually give you a true, useful outside grill. So let me go ahead and pull this out for you guys. I mean, if you really like to cook, I mean, this is legit right here. Hold on one second. Check this out. This is what I like to see from RV manufacturers. Thinking outside the box, they have like a griddle outside. You have your awning to kind of shade you from the sun. Amazing. This is what I like to see right here. And this tray is through Moride and the grill is through Capital. It's a Capital griddle. And they give you a spray port here on the side. Man, this is the way to go right here, guys. Grand design for the way. I, I will tell you, they have a bright future for me when it comes down to buying my next RV. But all in all, really good setup. They give you a refrigerator for the outside if you want to have some drinks available to you when you get hot. And down below, if you want to hook this bad boy up, you do have an area down here to do so. And here's a better look at it when it's closed too. There is a lot going on out back. You have LED lights, top and bottom. Backup camera, let's prep for it. Have a ladder, spare tire, six gallon water heater through Dometic. And you do have manual jacks front and rear. So the 30 amp connection is right out back. So you do have a skylight right here. Have two vents and then there's your AC unit. Looks like it's an evolution through the medic too. Right there. And I don't know if you guys can see up yonder, you do have a standard solar punch RV. I'll show that to you here in a second. 
you do have your black and gray tank uh, valves you can pull out back low hanging drain points and this is where you're going to dump at it's the only spot on this rv and let's go ahead and hop on the other side i don't know if you noticed but this rv does not have any slides so just keep that in mind you do have your vent for where the uh, microwave is the suburban furnace is down below and I believe that's the black tank flush right there. I can't get to it, unfortunately, because of the slide. This is where you would fill your fresh water. And when you're done for the camping trip, you can dump it down, pulling that valve there. And let's take a quick look inside of here. So this is where you would hook up to your city water. You have some power outlets on this side, cable. And this is where you have your battery disconnect. And that solar panel on the roof, this is the inverter for it. This is through Furion. It's the MPP2, it's 25 amp. And check out the numbers for this RV. This is gonna have a gross fuel weight rating of 6,395 pounds. The unloaded fuel weight is 4,820 pounds, so it's just under 5,000 pounds. This one doesn't have any slides too, so that's why it's a little bit lighter also. And the all-in cargo carrying capacity is 1,535 pounds. So if you take that gross fuel weight and subtract it from the unloaded fuel weight, that's how you get this number here. So that's what you can add to this RV before you exceed this number here, which is the gross fuel weight. You have two 3,000 pound axles. They are tandem. I don't normally show this to you, but here are the numbers for the uh, cargo carrying capacity. And it also shows you how much a full tank of water equals when it's full. And this is your screen door. One thing I want to note out is you cannot open this door all the way, so be very careful because it does come in contact with the awning. Not a great design. They probably could have made the awning maybe a little bit longer to keep that from happening, but I'm not a grand design engineering like that, so I don't know why they did that. So nevertheless, here's your screen door. You have like a kick plate down below. And it's pretty easy to open if you want to Put the doors together it's also easy and let's step inside of the 25 foot interior i hear something let's see what we got so you can see that it shows you where you are in terms of the battery let's turn on the ceiling lights let's make sure the water pump is on oh there it is that's what i'm hearing i'm hearing your ceiling fan Alrighty, so if you've never heard of a Murphy bed, this is what that is. So that's kind of how they're able to make this rig have a bunk, have a spot to eat and hang out, and still provide a queen size bed for your RV. I think that this is the type of stuff right here that does make manufacturers have to think outside the box because not everybody uses a camper for long-term use. And this is just a camper you're gonna take out for the weekend. Tons of storage still. You do have a good amount of countertop space. They actually have the dinette already broken down. And one thing I like about this dinette is they do provide a place down below for your shoes. Love that. That is a huge thing for me and my wife because I hate seeing shoes by the door, especially in the RV because it's already so small. Now, as far as your bedroom goes they do provide a curtain that you can slide to give you some privacy and storage down below with the power plug and this is going to be for your closet and you do have some drawers on each side too i will pull the bed down for you guys also when the bed's not in use they do have a small couch with storage below it You have the same thing pretty much on this side. You do have your television. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it does pop out to allow you to have a better view of that. And the glass looks great. It's tinted, hides that Furion radio. Small microwave, but still pretty useful. A little bit of storage on top. 
and check this out three burners and you have a small oven and more storage and then this is how you uh, sanitize winterize all that good stuff off to the side you do have your breaker box and a little bit more storage on this side under the sink I would have liked to seen them not put this in here because there's no spot to put a trash can so you're probably gonna have to put one outside but love the huge barn style sink I hate the divider uh, RVs are already small so having a divider just makes this a little bit cumbersome personally but nevertheless guys uh, the vent you saw outside that's where that air would go out basically so you'd have to open that up too so just keep that in mind they do provide some storage on the side of the refrigerator And check this out this is most likely a compressor style refrigerator because it seems like it's on right now and it is I've actually considered upgrading our refrigerator to a compressor style because they're a little bit more reliable they run on 12 volt and they hold the temperature a lot better compared to a propane one and it's decent size for this size RV Above the dinette, you do have some storage. And you do have two bunks. Really large. Uh, you could have two kids sleep up here if you like. Big windows, curtains to give them some privacy. And that window opens and that's just an exit right there. Two USBs, type A and type C. Light. And down below, they give you the same stuff. The only thing is, your kids on the bottom, when, if there was ever an emergency, they would have to go out the way. Although, I will say, the door is pretty close, so they do that just because I probably, it's probably a protocol for them to have an escape window just in case. And you guys saw this earlier. And walking into the bathroom, this is still a pretty good size for this rig. There's no slides on this thing, so this definitely does provide enough space. Small sink, but still useful. And you have some storage on the side. Deep storage down below too. You can probably put a decent sized trash can in here. Porcelain toilet. And this is just a typical shower size you're gonna see. Not a huge fan of this. I see this working soon, personally, but love the design inside of here. They do give you that skylight to give you a little bit more height. So I'm six foot one and I have pretty much about two inches on it. So you might have to duck down after six, three, six, four. But all in all, great RV. I really do like this. I didn't show this to you, but you do have some cubbies here. These are kind of not useful. You have to put some bins in here because if stuff falls back there, like I can't even, I have long arms and I can't even reach to the back of them. So this is not a great design. I don't like stuff like this, but that's just me. Alrighty. So that's pretty much it. So let me show you this Murphy bed and then that will effectively end this video. That took me less than 20 seconds to do. So once you pull the bed out, just check out your door you still have a good amount of space even if you kept the bed out all day on a Saturday you don't want to put the bed up I don't blame you you could do that and they do give you some cubbies on each side you have some power plugs USBs type A and type C they're not stingy with grand design <laughs> and yeah this side however you can't go around here this is not enough space and if you're washing dishes, you could get water on the bed, but it's not a big deal. But if you do want a small rig, these are the types of things that you're going to have to get used to. I think that 25 foot or less, easy RV to pull behind a you know SUV, a 
Chevy, Silverado, things like that. I mean, that would tow perfectly behind something like that. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I'll see you guys soon.